problems, and as of today, we still have ongoing problems. So I'm going to beg to differ on what was presented to council today, uh, based on the recent reporting that I have gotten with the solicitor, and that we'll we'll try to just operate as efficient as effective as possible. But my main goal, I've stated from day one, and I will continue, is to calm the fears and concerns of those who enter that building and work in that building. And this is, today's vote clearly states to me that council members may, some council members may be worried about getting reelected versus the safety and health of the individuals who work in that building. I was gonna ask, it's obviously different. You are there every single day. For someone to just come in one day and give their perspective, what's it like for you in there every single day? Being there every single day, there are usually multiple complaints. I will say that uh, folks who work in this facility right now were very happy about the possible relocation. Um, so I don't know what this is gonna bring as far as morale and, and, and the thoughts. We've had judges walk out. It's not just in individual employees who refused to hold court in there based on the conditions that they were working in. That didn't make the media, but it's an ongoing, everyday, all-day process of having to calm fears and try to get folks who work in that facility to focus on their jobs and not feel like the voice being raspy or a nosebleed or what if you might have you is the focus. And that, that's what we deal with and contend with every day. February 28th, that was an emergency hearing to relocate us, and today it's not, based on the fact that one site did not work. I still submit that we still have a problem, regardless of that OSHA report, because there's been testing since OSHA that states otherwise. Yeah,